What's going on guys, Rain and Stormwake here, bringing you an assassinate game against XX Evil Assassin. It's a very close game, and I'm going to use this game to talk about a few things that have been on my mind. Um, recently in the community there's been a few discussions about abilities, about game mechanics, and the first thing I want to talk about is Shenmue and Squiddish both put out videos about Smoke Bomb and AC3 and how they feel to crutch and that I, I'm not saying that they said that anyone that uses a Smoke Bomb like is, is definitely crutching on it but um, it definitely comes off that way to some people and um, I just want to talk about Smoke Bomb in this game and um, and in the other games as well so let's start off with at the beginning let's start off at ACB Assassin's Creed Brotherhood the game where Assassin's Creed multiplayer started off. Smoke Bomb in that game, it was definitely the best ability. No one questioned that. But the thing about Smoke Bomb in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood was that you could stand above it uh, and like you were not affected. Like if you were above them on the stairs, you could be within the radius and you could get them. You could get up on something, you could acrobatic kill them, you could avoid Smoke Bomb in so many ways. You could bait it with abilities, you could there was just so many ways to avoid smoke bomb and still like there was a lot of people that bitched about smoke bomb and I mean then okay let's move forward to ACR like definitely the most overpowered smoke bomb was in Assassin's Creed Revelations the reason it was so overpowered uh, there were several reasons actually like in Brotherhood there was a slight delay between your drop time and the like actual time where it would deploy and actually work for you and um basically in revelations there was no delay like at the beginning at the start there was a delay and that was great smoke bomb really wasn't that bad um like it really wasn't that bad at all and then they did a patch and this patch removed one of my favorite things ever which was locking and killing stun animations which was actually apparently never intended to be in the game which is <sighs> kind of unfortunate. I was kind of hoping that they had put that in the game specifically just to make the game more fun and to, I don't know, give us, you know, competitive players and people that were able to utilize this um, an advantage. And, you know, something you could learn, learn to use properly and use to your advantage in all modes. I mean, it was great for every single mode. Um, so they did a couple things with the patch, um, but they basically broke Smoke Bomb completely so not only was it throwable, which I never, I'll be honest, I never liked the ability to throw a smoke bomb. I never thought that was really needed, and to this day I will still say that being able to throw a smoke bomb was not a needed change for Assassin's Creed Brother, or for Assassin's Creed multiplayer. Like, there should never have been the ability to throw a smoke bomb in this series. Um, that being said, um, people are going to throw it because it's throwable, I mean you kind of have to deal with that. Um, but in ACR, it was throwable, it had an instant deployment, and it worked above you. It would knock people off of acrobatic perches. It was the most annoying ability in the game, the most overpowered ab ability in the game, and it's ultimately why I stopped playing the game. Like, it came to a point where I was just like, alright, this game is just not fun anymore. Like, competitive assassinate, which is my thing, obviously, as you all know, just was not fun for me anymore because of how they changed smoke bomb and took out locking and killing stun animations like that patch completely ruined the game for me now let's jump ahead to AC3 where we're at right now alright so Ubisoft comes out with AC3 and I feel like they came into this game looking to make it balanced which was great I feel like they did great um, with like their mindset on like how they wanted things to be they brought out the smoke bomb, they increased, they brought back smoke bomb, they increased the cooldown to 100 seconds, which was a really good change. Uh, it was definitely like, it definitely needed a longer cooldown for how good it was. Um, it still has no delay. Uh, when the game first came out, there was, like it reached pretty high, it still knocked people off of perches. I still don't think it was as high as Revelations but it still knocks people off of stuff. Uh, they recently hotfixed that, so it really doesn't knock you off of like fences or acrobatic perches anymore. So it's definitely still dodgeable. And I think a lot of like what people don't realize about this game is there are really no like on-the-spot reliable defensive abilities. Like, there really isn't. So, 
like, if you don't have a smoke bomb on, for instance, someone that's just going to either play really aggressive and just rush kill you, or knife you and do the same thing. Like, they can just knife you at a close range, and as you all know, like, once you're knifed, you, you can do nothing. Like, until the root duration is over, you're stuck. So, they can knife you and just run straight at you, and unless they're really far away, there's literally nothing you can do except throw a smoke bomb. And, I mean, I don't know... I'm not sh exactly sure why they took out Mute. I honestly think they should have left Mute in the game. Um, but I guess maybe, like, they thought Mute and Wipe would be a little bit too much silencing. Like, maybe they felt that, you know, si like, wiping someone for 10 seconds with a long-lasting wipe and then muting them would be just extremely overpowered, and maybe that's why they didn't bring back Mute. But unfortunately, right now, Smoke Bomb is the only on-the-spot, reliable defensive ability. And to expect people not to use the only reliable defensive ability is silly. Like, it's not going to happen. Um, and it's cool that people, you know, they want to use different abilities. Like, I, I love experimenting with abilities. I love using different abilities. But that doesn't mean that just because people are using Smoke Bomb, you should look down on them in any way. And I'm not saying that Shenmue and Squidish are doing this. Um, I believe they're just they're trying to improve the game, trying to get people to try out new abilities, uh, trying to get people to realize that they don't need to crutch on Smoke Bomb because there are people that do crutch on Smoke Bomb. But at the same time, I feel like a lot of people are taking like what they're saying in their videos and just like the the intention of the video is the wrong way. And they're really just anyone that's using Smoke Bomb. I, j I just see all these comments now like. Like, oh my god, that takes no skill. You're using smoke bomb. You suck. Blah, 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 blah. You know, it's just, it's not right. People need to just chill with that. And smoke bomb in this game, honestly, it's, it's balanced. Like, it's still, like, it still has, like, so much, like, utility. It's still the most useful ability just because of all the variety of things you can do with it. But as far as, like, a 1v1 situation, they've given you counter abilities. Um, knives are actually a really good ability to use against smoke bomb like you can knife someone and you can actually scare them into using their smoke bomb by like acting like you're gonna run at them and then just stopping like right outside smoke bomb range that nine times out of ten unless the player's really good and they know exactly like what you're trying to do like they're gonna drop their smoke bomb but I mean at the same time if it's another good player and they know that you're trying to bait their smoke they might not drop it but see I would rather the game be about mind games like you know, is he gonna drop this ability? You know, may maybe he he knows that I'm trying to bait a smoke bomb, and he's not gonna drop it, so I can just rush him through it, and you know, it, things like that. And animus shield, wipe, both of those abilities can be used preemptively before you go into smoke bomb range to completely negate it. And since those abilities are in the game, since the gun is in the game, since firecrackers are still as powerful as they were, I really don't feel like smoke bomb is a problem in this game. I mean, yes. I would say, overall, as far as like how useful it is, Smoke Bomb is probably still the best ability in this game. But then you have to look at it from like all the different perspectives, all the different modes, and you have to feel like, I mean, okay, for Manhunt, for instance, there's probably abilities, in my opinion, that are more overpowered than Smoke Bomb. And Wipe is definitely one of those abilities that I feel is just extremely overpowered in Manhunt. And I don't feel like it's as overpowered in the other modes, but still a solid counter to Smoke Bomb and still a solid ability. So, I mean, look at abilities for how useful they are in different game modes, how useful they are as counter abilities, and there's just so many options in AC3. The bottom line is, use what you want to use, don't worry about what other people are using, and just, you need to read your opponent. If you know this person uses Smoke Bomb on all of their sets, if you know every time you face this person, they're going to have a Smoke Bomb, grab your animus shield, grab your wipe, and deal with it. You can keep track of their smoke bomb cooldown, you know if they have it, and if they do have it, you can pop a shield, get off your knife stun, or get off your kill, get off whatever you want to get off on that person, without having to worry about the smoke bomb. That's why they added these abilities in, so people wouldn't have to, like, people wouldn't have to worry about smoke bomb as much. And that's great, that's awesome, like, in ACR, I feel like people were way too defensive, they were way too scared to make a move, especially in a, a competitive assassinate. They wouldn't rush kill, they wouldn't be aggressive, and that's what 
all the fun is in aggressive, like, assassinate, competitive assassinate. Like, you want to be aggressive. You want to rush kills. You want to just get in there and just duel it out and just have fun. That's what it's all about. And I really feel like they brought that back in this game by giving you abilities to get past people's smoke bombs. And, I don't know, this game is so balanced. They put a lot more thought into it. And yes, it still has bugs, but we have post-launch support. They've already put out one patch. I'm, I know they're going to bring out another patch eventually. And let's just let's hope for the best. And, like I said, I encourage using a variety of abilities. I love using a variety of abilities. I mean, besides, like, Money Bomb, because that ability is terrible. Just remember, people, it's not about what abilities you use. It's about how you use those abilities. Every ability has a good way to use it and a bad way to use it. Anyways, that's it for this video. I will catch you guys later. Look for some more tip videos coming up this week. And I hope you guys have a good week and a good night. Peace out.